body of the last victim of the deadly Batang Kali landslide was on Saturday rising that toll to 31. It was previously reported that the last victim, who was then still missing, was identified as Eng Chong Ki, a year 5 student from SJKC Munchong. According to School Parent Teacher Association head, Yu Ching Ong, the boy, was the son of the canteen operator at the school. The landslide also took the life of the boy's father, identified as Gary Ung and sister. Early today, Slango Fire and Rescue Department Director Datuk Nor Azam Kamis in statement said the operations paired head by the department also saw 80 personnel from armed forces, civil defense force, Special Malaysia Disaster Assistant APM and Rescue Team SMART entering the red zone area. The last time body was unearthed from the site was on Thursday following the discovery of four bodies, a man, a woman and a two children in Tanbury under 7 meters of my at 11.00 am. It brought the death toll to 30 people while 61 were rescued out of total 92 victims reported being involved in the incidents. Any decision to revive ujian pencapaian sekolah rendah UPSR and Form 3 Assessment Pentaksiran Tingkatan 3, PT3, will only be made after the tabling of the report on the implementation of the Education Development Plan 2013-2025. Education Minister Fadlina Siddiq said the outcome of the report on the Malaysia's Development Plan will serve as a reference for the Ministry to decide whether to reintroduce both examinations in the education system or otherwise. Fadlina, however, stressed that the Ministry is currently focusing on efforts to strengthen school-based assessment PBS instead of examination-oriented mode to improve and develop skills and knowledge among students in the country. She added that any decision whether to bring back both examinations or otherwise would also take into consideration the views and feedbacks from stakeholders in the public education system, especially teachers and parents. Both examinations, including UPSR, were cancelled in 2021. Following the abolition of UPSR, the ministry would focus on PBS in order to assess Year 6 students. A snowstorm in the United States, U.S. killed at least 70 people in weather-related incidents and left more than 1.7 million homes and workplaces without power. The National Weather Service announced that the freezing wind came from the Arctic, which affected two-thirds of the country and will continue to have significant impact on the central and eastern part of the country at the end of the week. At least 70 people were killed and many others injured in the traffic accidents. While authorities warned the visibility had dropped to zero due to snowstorm with wind gusts reaching 115 km, seven, which is 71 miles per hour in some area. According to media reports, the flight tracking website FlightAware reported that more than 8,000 flights were cancelled and more than 25,000 flights were delayed ahead of Christmas and New Year's holidays. Malaysia whip Laos 5-0 to register their second consecutive win in a AFF Cup Group B match at the National Stadium in Bukit Jalil and moved to the top of the group. Sensational striker Muhammad Faisal Halim continued his ladder form by striking twice in the second half both via headers after naturalised player Sergio Aguero had given the host a first half lead while substitutes Muhammad Hakim Azim Rosli and Stuart Wilkin added one each to complete the role. In a match that was watched by 29,961 fans, it was quite clear that head coach Kim Pangon wanted to rest some of the first choice players for the crucial match against Vietnam on Tuesday. Malaysia had aged Myanmar 1-0 in their opening Group B match in the Yangon in Wednesday. Meanwhile, in another Group B match played at the Jalan Besar Stadium in Singapore, home side Singapore aged Myanmar 3-2 to collect all three points. <laughs> 